So today we're going to talk about this really cool custom tool that you can use with Career AI in order to extract YouTube comments. Now this is a pretty awesome tool which even though I wish I could take credit for guys, it was actually made by one of the members of my school community. So if you want to collaborate with other Career AI developers or enthusiasts, you want to hop on live calls or you want more educational content that is more in-depth courses, I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can join my school community. And depending on when you're watching this video and when you click that link, that community may or may not be free. So back to this tool. So this project was something that the member reached out to me about that he needed a little bit of help on, but after we discussed it and after he spent some time with it, honestly, he didn't end up needing my help at all. I told him many times that he was pretty much knocking it out of the park with crew AI and Python and all this stuff. And we are planning on making a video together where we talk a little bit more about the whole project. So I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. But as far as this YouTube comment fetcher tool goes, here are some of the advantages that it has. So if you've tried using Create tools or maybe some other online tools to automate things, you know, like scraping the web or this and that, there's probably a couple of things you've tried on. You've maybe used a web search tool that allows you to go to a website and extract data from the website. Maybe you've used one of those tools like Multion that allows you to interact directly with your browser through automation. But I'm sure over time you found out that those tools or those solutions they didn't always have the best performance, they didn't have consistent results. And sometimes depending on the web page you're trying to extract data from, it probably didn't even work sometimes. So for scenarios like that, in specific situations where you're trying to extract complete data, this is where a custom tool is going to come into place. And if you're not familiar with custom tools at all, I'm going to leave a couple links in the description so you can get a little bit of a high level view and explanation of the concept of custom tools in Crew AI, as well as how the code is written out. So I know you're probably thinking, Hector, I have ChatGPT, I have all these AI code editors. I don't need to know these concepts in order to make these tools because code pretty much writes itself. And that is true to some extent. These code editors are definitely getting better by the second. But I think that if you just understand some key concepts regarding how these tools are created, you're going to get better results once you make the requests from your AI rather than just saying, hey, ChatGPT, make me a custom tool for Crew AI that extracts comments from YouTube. So let's take a look at this real quick. And if this looks like gibberish or confusing and you don't want to deal with it, that's completely fine. We're going to take this chunks at a time. We're not going to go through line by line. But again, the point of this is for you to understand how this tool works, what it's doing in the background and what it needs in order to perform the task. Like we were saying earlier, maybe you've tried scraping YouTube, maybe you've tried going to the URL of the video and maybe you were able to get some comments. And well, even if you are able to get to the page and even if you are able to scrape through it and extract some of the comments, you have to remember that comments are stored in multiple pages within the YouTube page. That is all the comments don't load up at once whenever you load up the page. You have to keep scrolling down and you have to kind of wait for more of those comments to load. But with an API key, we basically have Google's permission to extract certain data from their servers. So of course, the first thing that your tool is going to need to do is verify that that API key exists. So now once you've extracted that API key from whatever file you have it stored on, then come times to actually make your API request. And all an API request is a web request to another server. We can see right here that we're making a request to this link. And the main thing that we need in order to specify what video it is that we want data from is the video ID, which is pretty much all those letters that are included at the end of your youtube.com URL. And I'm sure you'll recognize this because we've talked about it in previous API videos. This is where you're making your get request to Google servers to retrieve the specific data for that video. Now, when we make a web request, we're also going to get a web response with a payload. This payload is going to include some JSON formatted data. So again, we gave the tool our credentials for the API. We then made our API web request. And now that we have our JSON data from the request, we're going to go ahead and start processing it by extracting all of the comments from within it. Because remember that JSON response, it has a lot of data in a very compact form. Now, as we process these comments and we add them to a comment list, we want to save these comments to a file. As you can see right here, the save comments method, which we're going to click into by clicking command and then clicking it. This save commands method is then going to take the comments that we extracted earlier from that JSON data, and it's actually going to save them into a file. So if you're at a point right now where maybe your Crew AI projects are starting to feel a little bit limited because maybe the tools you have right now 
aren't doing exactly what you want them to do. Maybe they aren't able to extract data the way that we'd like to. Maybe they're not extracting data from the specific website that you would like to. Building a custom tool is going to help you out a lot. And even if you're not super familiar with Python or programming concepts at all, understanding that whenever you ask the AI, whether it's ChatGPT or Cloud or Perplexity, that you want to build a Cru AI custom tool, you'll then be able to emphasize these three key points that one, you want to extract the API credentials and two, that after it sets those credentials, you want it to make the API request using that service. And three, once you make the API request, you want it to process that data from the response and save it to a file. So just those three simple things, setting your API credentials, making your API request, and processing your data are going to help you out a lot whenever you start trying to make these tools with AI. And even though you're probably still going to have to do a little bit of troubleshooting, I still believe it's going to save you hours of headache if you're more specific with the code that you're requesting for your tool. I'm still working on this project, so I'll be sharing a more detailed setup and a more detailed walkthrough in future videos. But as I build these bigger projects, I like taking some time to break down some of the smaller parts, just because I know concepts like callback functions, custom tools, and all these other customizations that you can do in the code can seem a little bit overwhelming, especially if your background isn't too heavy in technology. And if there's something that I enjoy doing is taking a concept, simplifying it for you guys, so you can start implementing it for more complex projects, for more complex tools in AI. If you feel that there's something you're still really stuck on on these projects, or maybe you just don't feel like you're progressing at the pace that you could be within your AI journey, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me completely free. So whether you have some questions about how to get your project to run, or maybe just have some questions about how you can get better at learning these AI concepts, I'll be more than happy to help you out with that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.